Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the edge triggered JK flip-flop. Edge triggered JK flip-flop J and K stands for Johnson and Kelby which, which is an advantage of which is having an advantage compared to SR flip-flop. In SR flip-flop the main drawback was when S is equal to 1 and R equal to 1 the output is an indeterminate state because both Q and Q bar becomes 1. That's why in order to avoid that we are going to add one more feedback from the output to the input controlling NAND gates so that this uh, that problem is going to be avoided and in JK flip-flop when both inputs are 1-1 one, one, the output will be a toggle input a toggle output of the input okay that means every time when uh, input is equal to 1 output will be always 0 1 0 1 0 1 like that it will come okay output is a toggle of the input signal. So the JK flip-flop is a very versatile and also the most widely used flip-flop among all the remaining flip-flops. It is a versatile and most commonly used flip-flop, most commonly used flip-flop among all flip-flops among all flip-flops okay so what is the representation of the JK flip-flop so for any flip-flop we need to draw a box and represent J and K what are the inputs we have those two inputs repre represented like this and it is a flip-flop so clock this is the clock signal this is the representation of the clock and this is q and this is q bar okay so as it is an edge triggered flip flop we need to show the edge as either either positive edge or negative edge okay most generally we are using positive edge triggered flip flop so it is a positive edge triggered flip flop if you want to explain about the operation of a negative edge triggered flip flop then we need to show a down arrow from 1 to 0 logic 1 to logic 0 transition with a down arrow and with a bubble here bubble here at the clock input that bubble shows that it is a negative edge triggered flip flop it is a negative edge triggered flip flop so it is a jk flip flop just a block representation now if and the internal architecture is just a modified version of the SR flip-flop by taking a feedback additionally from the output to the input to NAND gates. So this is the internal architecture, internal structure of JK flip-flop, JK flip-flop. So here we have two NAND gates. as we have in the case of SR flip-flop here also first we have two NAND gates outputs of those two NAND gates are given to two more NAND gates the first two NAND gates are for the steering purpose or we can also say controlling gates and the second two NAND gates are for latch purpose or memory purpose so the output is connected as one of the inputs here and here also we are taking the output of the second NAND gate. So this is Q and this is Q bar. Now actually we have this input as J <coughs> and here this input as K. Okay, this is the second input now this is the clock input which is connected commonly to both the NAND gates this is the clock input okay clock input which is a rising edge clock input and here the first gate is having a feedback connection from the output here and this gate is having a connection from the output okay otherwise you can also show the q bar output connection as the input for the j and j at the first gate and q output as input for this is second gate 
okay this is the internal architecture of the jk flip flop see what is the difference in the beginning in sr flip flop in the beginning stays first two nand gates see this is first gate this is second gate and this is third gate and fourth gate first gate and second gate in sr flip flop was both are two input nand gates where two inputs are j and clock for the first gate and k and clock for the second gate but whereas in this jk flip flop we have additionally one more input so uh, one and two gates are three input nand gates so that additional input is the output of the previous state nothing but see here q bar is connected at the first gate and q is connected at the second gate input okay so if you see the logical operation of this one and the truth table truth table of jk flip flop so truth table consisting of so first one clock second j k previous output next output q n plus 1 and we have status of the output state so 0 0 0 001 this is all for raising edge of the clock okay all these states we will consider only when the raising edge of the clock is considered when other than this raising edge nothing but different levels irrespective of the inputs irrespective of the inputs if we are having zero output is also zero previous state as one output is also one so in this case we can say consider two two cases okay so here when both j and k are zeros clock is having a rising edge both j and k are zeros so zeros are nothing but previous state so previous state is zero here output is zero one means output is one so this is no change state and clock is having a rising edge and j is equal to zero k equal to one j equal to zero k equal to one means output is zero output is zero so here we can say it is reset in uh, yes r flip flop s is equal to j and r is equal to k so s is equal to 0 r equal to 1 r equal to 1 means it is reset that's why reset operation is performed here okay and uh, s equal to 1 r equal to 0 nothing but set operation is performed so output is set okay here jk also follows the same steps until these three but when you go to the 1 1 step 1 1 j equal to 1 k equal to 1 nothing but when s equal to 1 r equal to 1 output is an indeterminate state but that indeterminate state is eliminated here in the jk flip flop because of the feedback which is connected in the previous diagram so that's why in this case output is the complement of the previous state so zero if the previous state is zero now it is one if the previous state is one now it is zero so this is the state known as toggle state the state is known as toggle state A toggle state is nothing but the complement of the previous state complement of the previous state okay and here also it is no change state no change state when the clock is zero when the clock is having a falling edge or a level then simply it continues the previous state whatever the previous state is the same is going to be continued so for better understanding we will draw the waveforms so take a clock signal which is a train of rectangular pulses 1010 1, 0, like that so mark every rising edge transition and take j as one input k as second input and this is the output okay output i am taking just q q bar is the complement of this q so this is the clock now randomly consider the j and 
and K. Okay. Now take this instant, draw the instance vertically to show the changes in the output. Okay, so J is equal to at the rising edge, whenever the rising edge of the clock, okay, previously assume the output is like output is 0, assume the output previously it is 0, okay, now for this rising edge, at this first rising edge of the clock signal, we have the state J is equal to 0 and K equal to, sorry, J equal to 1 and K is equal to 0 j equal to 1, k equal to 0, clock is having a rising edge, nothing but output is equal to 1. Output is equal to 1. This one will be continued until the next instant of the clock rising edge occurs. Okay, irrespective of the changes in the input j and k, and uh, until the next rising edge of the clock occurs, the state is continuous. Okay, see here, there is a change in the output, j is equal to 0, k equal to 0 j equal to 0, k equal to 0, it is in no way responsible to change the output, okay. And again at the case, at this case, second instant when clock is having one more rising edge, j is equal to 0, k equal to 0, nothing but previous state is continued, j equal to 0, k equal to 0, no change. That's why previous state is going to be continued until the next instant. Until the next instant, okay, third instant occurred, j is equal to 0, k equal to 1. Nothing but it is reset, so output equal to 0. This will be continued till the next instant. After this again, j equal to 1, k equal to 0, so output is going to be 1. So like this, we need to check each and every instant of the clock signal. At that instant, what is the status of j and k? Then the output is going to be converted as per the truth table. Okay. And this is the JK flip-flop, edge-triggered JK flip-flop. Thank you.